So there I am, on the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only, it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. It tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. One minute, I'm outnumbered. In the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. So, how's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. I doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through ten times that shit. Are we talking about the same cloud? Come on, the trains are down, guy's desperate to prove himself. Not like he needs to. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. <sighs> Hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A zack of all trades. Why? Because one's not enough. I don't think Get a load of this. Okay, let's see. The destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off Petal Lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks who will risk it all. Wait! Don't tell me you're going! The things I do for friends. <laughs> I kinda wonder how that rift looks to all the folks topside. Hey, you ever wondered about your purpose in life? What you're doing here? 
sure, from time to time. Or all the time. Would never have guessed. Didn't used to, but things changed. Went through a lot after I joined Shinra, like, a lot. I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time I've been given. Hey, Biggs. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah. Because one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit Reactor 1. So... Uh, how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. My internal clock's busted. Yeah, mine too. What's that about, anyway? <laughs> Good question. Uh, interesting. So I kind of wonder... They have... They have very different memories of Cloud. I think I prefer being number two or three. Suits me much better. Yeah. Why don't we all go like, camping? The guy who only has to worry about the how. Doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. Then who might that be? Uh whoever brought you back, I guess? And assuming there was someone? Who could it have been? That's a good question. You were the guy with Aerith, right? Is there anything we can do to help? Hell with it! Let's just do what we want! Start by robbing folks and stop It's just up ahead. Keep your eyes peeled. Copy. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> hmm? Huh. New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. <sighs> Sorry for wasting your time. It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. You know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. It's a start. Anyway, I gotta run. 
I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head home too. Hmm. Home, huh? Kyrie forgot her backpack, which is filled with traveling supplies. Perhaps she hoped to join Avalanche after all. Welcome home. Welcome home. Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? <gasps> Said he'd visit, too. Oh, yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? No, uh, sorry. Forgot to ask. Aww! Zach, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. Village of the Gee. Ceremonial staff. Sacred staff used as part of a ritual prayer to the planet. ATB ward. Okay. Welcome to our domain, children of the planet. <laughs> Y'all hear that just now? Our flesh is gone. Yet our spirits are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you. Can only imagine how tough that's been. 
My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean. Are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both. Everybody got petrified. Maybe this would help. I got it. Show me how. 
but one thing that can deliver unto us ultimate salvation. And that is materia. So an ultimate materia? Where is it? You gotta tell me! In the materia of peace, we shall find the end for which we have lost. probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it... Well, who's to say they won't... Let the planet have it! Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. <laughs> what do you think he wants us to do for him? Steeped in our one desire, pure is the material no more. With pain and spite made black. Steeped in our one desire. Pure is the materia no more, with pain and spite made black. Steeped in our one desire, pure is the materia no more, with pain and spite made black. Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along. Show you what you've got. My turn. 
Bully. How can I treat the new body? Those not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. Trying to oblivion. From a planet, we claim the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice, knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the Black Materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. Huh? Mm. Alas, it appears we have been discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. Uh, I guess we're back? Yeah.
We need to get moving. Right. I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. It's good to see you again. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. salvation or whatever but to me it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc nope no way in hell are we letting them have it i can't let him have it either him sephiroth did no one else sense him no you're the resident expert if you say sephiroth was there i believe you wait 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 so are you saying sephiroth's after the black materia too probably Better to assume he is. Oh, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my materia! So, Kitsu, I gotta ask, how do you know about the Cetra Temple anyway? Uh, well, like, uh, I wouldn't say I know about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. Terminal, huh? They set any up here? I think so. But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. <laughs> Thank heavens you're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon, so... Where is it? Oh... What did become of that thing? Ah, yes. Now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say, though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Cetra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Cetra never engaged in such practices. I... didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a site of importance to the Cetra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. Speak with one of the guides and I'll ex 
escort you to various locations around the settlement. A privileged service offered only to guests of fellow Guggenhagen. Ah, I suppose I ought to seal the door once again. Monarchy. Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. I'm not sure why, though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nebo. I'm... Nebo. I'm... Nebo. I'm... Ain't that... Artifa and I grew up. Nibelheim has a terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had a terminal. Clout, remember when you told Gee an attack back there? That might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm going to prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. We should go. Hey! <laughs> Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. <laughs> Maybe we can go by land. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Hmm. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. Side, it may serve as a good place to start. I'll send you the coordinates right away. Planetological ruins. All right. You just worry about getting to Nibelheim. I can look after him. of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of guidance? Absence of a sign. Uh, portents of calamitous ruin have been sighted in the veil vale of late. Dreadful fiends who have whose very presence heralds doom. But all is not yet lost, for in times past we have observed celestial phenomena indicative of the Great Mother's triumph over such forces. We request assistance with spotting and photographing said phenomena. Seek out the mentor Caesar for more information. From whence life flows. Um, it has been entirely too long since I've done some old-fashioned field work. And I'd like to correct that. Unfortunately, I seem to have misplaced my tools. Drop by and lend a hand, won't you? First up, I'll go to the towers, and then if there's enough time, then I'll do um, the quest. Proto Relic quest. Center of the tower. Yes, go! 
clearing.
Dilapidated chip. Hmm. Crazy that there's a bus stop way up here.
Got him. You're a lifesaver, Koopo. This emporium is officially open, and it's all thanks to you. There's only one more left to go. We've come so far, Koopo. I hope that you'll see it through. Over here! Anything interesting catch your eye, Koopa? Tales of Red Warrior. Uh, scriptures. Powerment materia. All good. Feel free to drop by any time! ancient ruins over here. I was hoping to land at the very top. It's fine though.
Alright, so I guess that's all the towers. I really want to do the Queen's Blood match, but I can't get over there without triggering the next cutscene. Sweat Valley.
sensors indicate the presence of a unique life form. I think with that I'll save and 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 we'll continue this next time. So uh, thanks for watching and see you guys then. Bye.